your next gen console sucks and before you comment saying otherwise hear me out on this one the next gen consoles are powerful and priced at insane discounts compared to their pc equivalents however it's been almost three years and there still isn't any exclusive games or elaboration on the console's features but let's start at the beginning in 2020, the gaming industry saw the release of the next generation gaming console, the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. These consoles were meant to be the pinnacle of gaming technology, offering users an unparalleled gaming experience at a fraction of the usual price. However, as time has passed, it has become very obvious that these consoles failed to live up to expectations, leaving many buyers feeling underwhelmed and disappointed. After three years, the supposed next generation of gaming still hasn't even gotten any games. Firstly, the PlayStation 5. One of the most significant criticisms of the console is its size and bulkiness. The console is so large that it can be difficult to find space for it in many home entertainment setups, particularly if you have limited space. This issue is compounded by the fact that the console has a rather striking appearance, with it struggling to fit the design or mood of almost any living space. When compared to the previous PlayStation consoles, such as the slimline PS4, the PS5's design seems like a step back, when Sony usually leads in terms of design. Another area where the PS5 has failed is its lack of exclusive games. This lack of exclusives is particularly jarring when you compare the PS5 to its predecessor, the PS4, which had a wealth of exclusive games that helped set it apart from the competition right out of the gate. Usually the main selling point of consoles is the games you can play on them, but this generation's main selling point seems to be them being an upgraded experience of already last-gen available games. Sticking with the theme of no exclusives, the console doesn't offer anything particularly unique or groundbreaking. When compared to the new Xbox, they seem practically identical in terms of performance, with very little separating them from each other other than aesthetics and UI. This lack of innovation and creativity is particularly frustrating given the significant technological advancements that have been made in the gaming industry in recent years. With things like AIO water cooling, customizable LED lighting, USB-C ports, the overall lack of idiosyncrasies just seems kinda lazy. Another area where the PS5 has fallen short is its lack of freedom when it comes to settings. This is particularly true with games like Apex Legends. Since developers determine whether a game is upgraded to 120fps or not, it essentially leaves your experience on the console that you paid for a roll of the dice. Further to this, developers have little to no incentive to go and make existing games into 120fps games, since they don't necessarily get anything out of adding it, and higher-ups at large companies would likely see it as a useless designation of resources. When all these factors are considered, it's obvious that the PS5 is, in many ways, not so different from the PS4. While the PS4 offered players a wealth of exclusive of games, customization options, and unique features, the PS5 feels like a pale, powerful imitation of its predecessor. Obviously it's more powerful, but what's the point of that power if it isn't used due to developer support issues? Now let's turn our attention to the Xbox Series X. Like the PS5, the Xbox Series X has been criticized for its lack of innovation and unique features. The console does not offer anything that sets it apart from its predecessors or the competition. This lack of innovation is particularly jarring when you consider the fact that the gaming industry has made significant advancements in recent years, and users are increasingly demanding new and unique features. Furthermore, like the PS5, the Xbox Series X does not offer any exclusive games that are unique to the platform. This lack of exclusives is particularly frustrating for users who have invested in the console hoping to enjoy a range of unique gaming experiences just like on the classic Xbox One with things like Halo and Sea of Thieves, etc. With very few games that truly take advantage of the new technology and capabilities, gamers are left feeling as though they are simply playing the same games on a more powerful console without the benefit of being on a more powerful console. Another area where the Xbox Series X has fallen short is its lack of elaboration on the controller design of the previous generation. The Xbox One controller was widely regarded as one of the best controllers to ever release, and it has been somewhat surprising that Microsoft did not build upon this design in any meaningful way. I understand the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but at least change it up a little bit more than a button, it's been over a decade. The PS5 made great changes to its controller, other than that godforsaken microphone, and the Xbox really should have tried to follow suit without charging charging hundreds of dollars for the equivalent quote-unquote elite controllers. It's also worth noting that the recent pandemic has likely played a role in the perceived failure of these consoles. With many people struggling financially, it can be hard to justify spending hundreds of dollars on a new console. Additionally, the pandemic has caused production and shipping delays, which have made it more difficult for gamers to get their hands on the new consoles, with back orders and being sold out being commonplace for those in the market for one of these machines. However, the inverse is also true, with a greater demand for gaming due to being bored and stuck inside, resulting in a greater demand 
fight for the better products, resulting in what should have been an extreme explosion of these consoles. So where does this leave the future of gaming? While the PS5 and Xbox Series X may have failed to live up to expectations, it's important to remember that these consoles are still relatively new. It's possible that we'll see more exclusives and innovative features as time goes on with the new slim and pro models that we always get. The perceived failure of the PS5 and Xbox Series X can largely be attributed to a lack of innovation, a shortage of truly next-gen exclusives, and the overall restrictions on settings for users of both consoles. It's possible that we'll see more innovative features and exclusive games in the future, but honestly, if you can, just save up for a PC.